What's good people? My name is Lucy and this is Entertainment News. First off on this segment, Davido, Messi and other celebrity beggars. Now it's not news that Davido's account is rising faster than the economy in Nigeria. Yes, we rise by lifting others and all that shenanigan. It's good though, honestly it is, but is it really necessary? Don't get me wrong. It's like you're pouring a cup of water into an ocean. And see, eh, these same celebrities send the money to Davido. When you ask them for help, they will snub you and leave you hanging. Not only that, though. With this now, eh, the next thing we hear is, your celebrity is in debt. But what do I know? Like I said, it is good. Then you see Messi, AK. I don't even know what to say about yourself. Maybe she wants to relax and be taken care of. She says she's a big girl and no one can get her. Please, 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 I beg. What kind of collective begging is this one? I don't want to say anything now, but the only reason I won't talk about Peace Square is that they've reunited, but coming back together to beg for money was not the way to go about it. Ah, ah. Will you go to the studio and make some music for us to jam with, I beg? Next up on this entertainment news, Jerusalem problem for Master KG. It's quite sad how the one song, Jerusalem, that brought so many people together during the lockdown has too much drama, bullying and separation behind the scenes. Imagine not paying the collaborator and producer. Well, as it is, the producer, Chamsa the DJ, has slammed Master KG with a lawsuit over the copyright ownership of the song. Wait, oh, who owns this song? Master KG, is this your song? Or is there someone else we need to know? I mean, he kind of deserves it, especially when he didn't do anything in the production of the song. He just took all the credits. So wicked. Hm. Moving on from that, oh, women are now prostitutes. Yes, Ghanaian television broadcaster Bridget Otto claims that every woman needs to be referred to as an Ashewo prostitute before being identified as a woman. This is what she said, and I quote, For a woman... Everything has to be sexualized. I always say this, if you are a woman and you have never been called an Ashewo, then you are not a woman. If a woman who is vocal has not been called Ashewo, you are probably doing something wrong, she said. Huh. So women now have to be dehumanized and sexualized before you can be considered as a woman. I beg this woman needs to see a therapist. Abi, is this what you guys want in Ghana? My Ghana people, tell us so. And finally... Justin Bieber crazy South Africa. South Africa will be welcoming Justin Bieber in 2022 with him performing at the DHL Stadium in Cape Town and FMB Johannesburg on the 28th of September and 1st of October 2022. Apparently, the two gigs will form a part of Bieber's world tour which will run through to March 2023 and this will be his third time he'd perform in South Africa. The only thing I have to say to this is, Justin, please go with your wife. Because you see these South African babes and their waist, eh? Hm. I hope they will not kill you. That's all I have for you on this entertainment news segment. Until next time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.